so um for 23 i forgot oh, i forgot to mention uh 24.3 t is not actually doing the open workout now because of her wrist injury yep yeah they got um they got uh sydney wells going with ariel lowen and they have roman krennikov and jay crouch which should be wow. fun and okay. honestly I, tia will probably will still be doing the open workout she just didn't want to do it in front of the lights being that she's not a, like at full strength and she won't be able to give people the show that she wants to without risking injury. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and so with, with the injury that she does have, so it's mainly from ki- uh, picking up her daughter and like holding her like all the time in like one arm. So I actually, I actually got that with Bennett. So you, it's like for mine, it was like a little like, pinch right there and so like sometimes when i would like do like presses or a- any any pressing movements or whatnot like it was so painful to do so it you're Just... saying you're as tough as tia claire to me tougher actually maybe so you well, should do we'll quarterfinals you're welcome okay <laughs> but but yeah so like i it, it's it's a that that it's annoying and it's just like a little i don't know how bad hers is but yeah i can imagine it's not not fun so, and like mothers, mothers and dads, get like for like newborns, like that have newborns get it a lot. So it's pretty, pretty common. You know, they're going to dose rest with cortisone, like Kurt Schilling in the fine in the world series. I don't even think they're going to do that. Cause like, what is, what does she really need for points to make it to quarterfinals? Oh no. I meant when it's time to compete. Oh, and it's oh, still yeah, the, oh yeah. they're going to dose the shit out of her. Of course. She's like, I don't want to feel a thing. It's like Aerosmith. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure she can just breeze through quarterfinals and then she'll be, you know, at least like most of the way like back in action come semis, if not like all the way back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see about that. But um, another topic I wanted to talk about, too, is um, I was looking at the barbell spin and they said 11 ladies from last year's games are not competing this year. Sweet. So, I mean, Emma Carey's not 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 coming in. Um, you know, obviously El- Ellie Turner's not going to be there because I don't know what's going on with her, or maybe like just from going all the way to Australia or whatnot. And there's like a like Kelly Baker's trying to have a kid. And Al O'Brien's out again. Al O'Brien. Yeah, she doesn't count to the election. Oh, she doesn't count actually. Yeah, she doesn't. Yeah, but but um, even um, oh um. Then like other people like pr- are pregnant, or whatnot. So Andy, yeah. congrats to them. Yes, yeah. yes. Shout out to so, moms. English Mother's the, uh... Day was over the weekend. Thanks, F1. <laughs> Let me fake this hand real quick. Just gotta edit this hand in. How y'all doing? But but since since the eleven people aren't gonna be at the games, there's gonna be some some pretty much some people that that nobody really knows that well have a shot to make it into the games and actually cause some damage. So do you guys like have any people you're thinking about Hannah Hardy or anybody else that can go into Hannah's the game? Make it on her team. You know, the thing is, I wanted to go in. I've been talking yeah, to Dr. So Hardy I, for a while about team. going individual and Dr. Hardy just wants to go team. I get it. I get I, it. I like but, team. But, uh, at Wahoo X fitters going team. Oh my ah, god. Wow. Dropping all understand. the handles. Wow. The real ones understand. <laughs> um I I believe uh, there's a, there's a few that I'm I'm looking at that I that I believe in and they've been to semifinals already, right? So you've got the likes of like Aaliyah Miller who could definitely make a push. Um I don't know if if this person is going but is Hannah Black going team? Not sure. I don't, she's, no, no. I don't think she's going indie. Last week, um, uh-huh. unsure why, because I did notice that. Um, I just, I'm not sure. Indie, but but it would be cool to see her go indie. Um, I believe that uh, who was the other? Who was the other athlete that was close to making it last year? There's a few. The thing is, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of great uh, athletes that were at semifinals last year that just weren't ready. Um, And I feel like that's, that this is now an opportunity for them to really to push and say, Hey, like the field's open. I should, this should be my time. Like there's no, 
Um, there's no excuse for this. So you might as well just jump right, get in there. Uh, Ariel Sanders is another one. Uh, she's had some pretty cool, uh, she's had some, she's been at Wadapalooza. She did strength and depth last year. We kicked Xander out and brought him back in, I guess. <laughs> what did you, pre- I didn't press anything. I didn't press Bro, anything. My, the time on my clock was like, oh yeah, you've timed out. I was like, what? I was like, what do you mean? Oh, like, really? How is that possible? That's crazy. I'm going to keep touching my mouse just in case I don't time out. Um, Pause. Hey, yo, come on. <laughs> you really had to do that? <laughs> That's nasty work. <laughs> Man, you just get back on the pod and not even not even miss a beat, huh? None. Zero. <laughs> um, but no, it helps. Like, it'll be cool to see what women, like, end up qualifying this year. Helps Kelsey Keel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you got to put, like – certain athletes who are trying to like because she got her one games appearance stolen from her True. thank you to the medical establishment um and so like with that like it'll be cool to see like the other athletes like who out of australia is gonna end up really like taking the shine especially with ellie not going um everyone going team pretty much over there too yeah Gracie yep. Walton, yeah, like that's the thing. Like, there's going to be some great athletes coming from there, and then I don't really know who on the European side would be like a dark horse underdog person. I mean, some uh, Solvig's uh, Solvig's Sigur's daughter was there a couple years ago. Didn't make it this last year. Yeah, I think it was. That was one of them. Um, or am I wrong? Or did she make it last year no, as well? She didn't make it. Solvig okay. like, has a good chance, yeah. but we'll see. Um, Amy Kringle would be the European person with a much better chance. Mm-hmm. Mm, true, true. Um, let's just take a look at this leaderboard right now. And I, oh, I mean, Annika Greer. Have, yeah, like Annika Greer, Ashley Wozni. Those are like the two that really shine for me. Um, Wasn't Ashley like really close of getting in? Well, or? she did. She was going to be in. No, she you're talking the semifinals. Annika. Annika Greer was the one that was super close last year that lost out to they, Age. No, they uh, they got back to back like. It was either it was Annika and Ashley or Ashley and Annika. Um, it was like to the point where Ashley was on the demo team, so obviously she did well. Uh, Chloe Wilson, like of course, like she's been close so many times, kind of you know dipping her toe in the East region this time. Um, I will also put McKenna's name in there as well because she's been training with Paige this past year and she's looking very strong with Paige mm-hmm. as well and. When you look at someone like Paige, um, not that I'm biased or anything, she's one of the fittest in the world. And you have a training partner there that's pushing and going at the same, at, you know, being able to keep up with Paige is only a good is only a good indicator that like, hey, these two can both punch their ticket and kick ass at the games together as individual uh, individual athletes. So definitely that's another one that I think we're hometown rooting for. Um, to see McKenna get in there as well. So, are you guys surprised that like all that some of these like individual athletes went team? No, I mean in Australia, definitely no. Um, I mean, I feel like it's like been one of those things where they haven't had that many spots, so might as well go team and with just like all these powerhouses and try to make a name. Um, I would also say uh, something else to think about here is we're looking at we're just we're just talking about 11 women are now not competing in the crossfit games or going to be at the games this year from last year right we're also seeing people withdrawing um and not actually competing this year due to injury or other reasons whatever the case is right what if people are going team to give themselves a break from the stress of individual competition i know that's more fun like it's yeah. like yeah, it seems way more fun. Like if like, we if Tom wants to interview Caroline Connors, I bet you she would say that. Uh you mean Caroline Spencer? Nope, Caroline Connors. It's in my phone as Connors. Happy birthday, Caroline. Um, hey, happy birthday. Yep. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. Yep. Come at the king. I don't update names in my phone. You're not you're known as your maiden name forever. <laughs> oh my uh. god. I'm sorry, um, 
Oh, but I know you don't make any apologies. <laughs> I apologize to the males. This is absolutely working in the internet's favor right now with the way I'm spinning this entire narrative. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, no, but like, team, yeah, I'm saying that people are just, they're saying, hey, maybe I just want to do team so I'm not like so freaking frustrated when I don't make it or put all my eggs in the basket to Indy where I'm like, I could be getting fitter with a team and then really make a serious push. I think that's honestly the plan for a lot of these athletes that are going team. Um, they're going team to one, keep training and get that experience on the floor to understand what it is to be at the CrossFit games. And then they're saying, okay, how did I handle this as a team? And can I handle this individually? And I think that's going to be, that's, that's essentially what some of these people are doing because they're seeing the, the toll it takes. You know, how many athletes do we know who put everything into making it to the games and like sold their soul to come up short? And how much that shit hurts? Yeah. And, uh, y'all, y'all, Hannah? I mean, yeah. Heather? I mean, I, <laughs> it's going to happen on the team side this year, though. There's, it will. Yeah. But at least you'll have, you'll, you'll lose it with, you'll, you'll, you lose with more people, but like instead of just being that, like sometimes that individual it, it it hurts more. Um, and I don't mean it just I don't I don't mean to say that there's losing is losing to me it, it's gonna suck either way, losing on team losing individual sucks, right? But for some of these people, I think that losing at the individual level and not making it hurts them just a little bit more. Because they have no one else to say there was no other variable except for me. 